I've come to Davis Monthan Air Force Base in Tucson, Arizona. I'm here to see the new improved A-10C in action with its multi-million dollar precision engagement weapons upgrade. The A-10C is building upon what has already been a great warfighting aircraft. Colonel Kent Lafbam of the 355th Fighter Wing is base commander. Okay, so what are some of the great things about the A-10 you wanted to keep? And then tell me about the upgrades to those things. Well, it's right on the front side of the aircraft. You can see that the gun is a 30 millimeter cannon. That's the most powerful cannon ever put on an aircraft of any type. It's a powerful gun. We keep the gun. That is priority number one. All right, tell me about the upgrades so you can make it even better. Um, capabilities such as a data link. We'll be able to communicate easily between aircraft and headquarters about the emerging battlefield, what targets need to be struck quickly and effectively. That's one of the capabilities. Plus, we'll have the ability with this aircraft in the A-10C variant to um, employ satellite-directed weapons. What's it like to fly this bird? It's kind of like a throwback to World War II. The gun it shakes the aircraft in a way that a 20 millimeter cannon doesn't. The, the smell of the gun actually joins you in the cockpit. It's a very guttural feeling. You know you're in a war fighting aircraft when you fly this one. The A-10's immense seven barrel Gatling gun was built to pulverize enemy armor. But the precision engagement upgrade means the A-10C now carries six joint direct attack munition smart bombs, or JDAMs. The A-10's always had the ability to fly low and slow, but now it can launch guided weapons from 30,000 feet at targets 15 miles away, thanks to a new infrared targeting pod system. This upgrade means the ability to precisely detect, identify, and destroy targets just got 10 times better. Because of the new capabilities and the fact that you're going to be able to do this at much greater ranges and from much higher altitudes, you get to deploy JDAM. You bet. Uh, as we get that information in the cockpit, it's presented to us via saddle on that MFCD. We can spit those coordinates down here in the JDAM and be able to launch this thing uh, and, and precisely engage a target very quickly. Captain Jason Jensen is an A-10 instructor pilot for the 357th Fighter Squadron. It's incredible that JDAM is uh, just this amazing munition because it's really like this is a dumb bomb. Sure. But not anymore. Add some fins, add some GPS navigation in the back. Now you've got a satellite bomb that can, you can pinpoint and drop right onto the target. You're, you're exactly right. You're exactly right. Again, another capability, the precision engagement, what the A-10C is giving us. Uh, it's, a, it's an outstanding weapons platform in the close air support environment, and it, it rocks. But it's not just the weapons that have been upgraded. Some of the biggest changes are in the cockpit. With 14,000 feet of new wiring, a new flight control stick, and new software, the weapons control system is now fully integrated.